everyone, this is Olivia with the Pickaway County Library. I am going to teach us how to make a lantern today. So, this is what it looks like. I got the idea from Tangled, if you've ever seen the movie Tangled. It's beau this lantern is beautiful in the dark with the lights out because um, it's, it's almost like a nightlight type of thing. It's beautiful. So the things, the materials you're gonna need um, first off, you're gonna, if you haven't already, want to stop by the Pickaway County Library and pick up um, your supplies. So you, there will be three things that you'll be taking home from us, and that'll be a blank white sheet of paper, a tea light, you'll each get a little tea light, and then a stencil. Now those are the things that you're gonna get from the library. Now the things that you'll need to have on hand are markers, a pencil, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you wanna decorate with, some tape, a ruler or something with a straight edge, scissors, and then we ask that you provide your own water bottle or um, pop bottle, just a clear bottle like this. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is cut our water bottle so that it's it looks more like a lantern. So, this, is, this part you're gonna want your parents' help with for this part. So, right about where it starts to curve here, at the bottom of the curve, we are going to take a knife and very, very carefully, our parents are gonna do this part for us, we're gonna poke a hole. That's all we're gonna need to use the knife for. It's hard to do that part with scissors, so you, the knife seems a little safer to me. So, next we'll take our scissors and just stick it in that hole and start cutting around. Now, this doesn't have to be perfectly straight because your paper will cover it. So don't worry if it's a little jagged trash. Don't worry if it's a little jagged, it just needs to look something like this. <clears throat> so there you go, there's your base. So we're going to set that aside. Now the next part that we want to do is, because we're going to cover this with our paper, I set it aside but I'm going to take it right back, we are going to figure out how we want to cut our paper. So we're going to wrap this around and see where we need to cut. So taking our piece of our, our pencil, we can make a little line right above where that is. And that's where we're gonna use our ruler and I made a straight line there with my ruler, kinda hard to see, but we take our scissors and cut right there on that line. Now this part we can put towards the bottom if you want the straight edge to be at the top. Meaning this edge we can put down this way as we wrap around. Now we're gonna set the bottle aside. So here's where our stencil comes in. You don't have to use the stencil. It's just something that um, I liked and it, like I said it reminded me of Tangled. So. Now, your stencil might come a little like this. Not everything popped out yet. You can see it's gonna be a sun, but you may have to pop some of these pieces out. Now, this is something you'll just wanna do very carefully. You can just pull each piece out carefully. Use your fingers and take your time because you don't wanna rip this stencil, it is it's fragile because it's it's very um, thin. This, this line is very thin. Let me get a little closer so I can show you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pop that out a little and very easily. So we're gonna do that all around until we have our stencil. And I think that these pieces that are coming out of this are actually really pretty and could be used as a stencil themselves. So there's an idea, meaning if you wanted to, you could use one of these excess pieces, if, if you have any, and 
trace it to make a pattern on your lantern. So we'll get to that here in a little bit. So <clears throat> here you have your sun, and if you wanna use your stencil, you're gonna place it right in the center of your piece of paper, and you're just gonna go ahead and trace it. All right, I traced my stencil very lightly there. <clears throat> now, you can see it's not completely centered, and that's okay because we're gonna be able to center it once we tape it onto the lantern. So at this point, <clears throat> it's really just decorating. You wanna decorate however you want, and this is the part where I was saying you could trace some of these pieces, you can come up with your own ideas, um, even trace some, some pretty patterns from a book that you love, um, however you wanna do that. But at this part, what we wanna remember is when the lights go out, the part that is going to show through the glowing is going to be the darkest pieces. So I want my sun to show when I turn the lights out in my lantern. So I'm gonna use a very dark, it's a purple, and purple's a pretty dark color. So I'm gonna color mine in with purple, and the rest of the things that I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm just gonna do pencil, because I think it's kind of pretty to have a little bit of an offset color. Um, you do absolutely whatever you want. I'm going to color mine in with marker, and then we'll go from there. So. All right, so there it is. I colored mine in. It looks so good once it's colored in. Now, after this, you just wanna get creative. You wanna put whatever you would like on it. I'm To save time, I'm not gonna do the extra pieces, but you can see the light pieces that I did on my first one. I just traced something from the computer, actually. So, that's something that you can do. Take your time with that until it's beautiful and just how you want it. So after that, you're gonna take your cup and you're going to wrap it around. So you can see it's very simple. We're just gonna keep our cups flat on the table and wrap it all the way around. It's gonna overlap a little bit, that's okay. That's gonna keep it a little sturdier. Pull it as tight as you can without ripping it. Take your tape. You might want to do about two pieces, one at the top, it's the bottom now that I turned it, and then one on the other side. <clears throat> there we go. Make sure it's tight around there. All right, looking good. After this, all we have to do is turn on our tea light lightly set it down in there and you are done and you're good to go hope you had fun i had a lot of fun with this one this is one of my favorite ones so thank you so much i hope you'll tune in for our next crafts um and please post pictures show us what you came up with we would love to see them thank you so much